bitch that dumped you and cheated on you. Nothing would make her happier than if she looked at your Instagram and you fat now. Y'all know Michael B. Jordan. He got dumped by his ex-girlfriend, Lori Harvey. All because he wanted to settle down and marry her. That's all he wanted. And she said, mm-mm. She dumped him. I get it. A handsome, fit, multi-millionaire, A-list actor is not good enough for Lori. She didn't want to settle for her. A young millionaire, A-list actor. She had her eyes on bigger things, right? So a lot of guys, they get depressed when their girls break up with them. They get all sad, start moping around. I seen guys really like fall off. Not Michael. What Michael do? He came out with Creed 3. He starred and directed in it. Like a G. Me and my girl went and saw this shit. This shit was hard. And here's the thing though, man. Creed 3 has passed box office expectations on its opening weekend to earn 58.7 million just in North America and another 41.8 million internationally making it not only the biggest opening for a film in the Creed trilogy but apparently the biggest domestic opening for a sports movie ever that's how you handle a breakup that's what you do guys girl break up with you you don't get mad at her take that anger and funnel it into success so my man went out got in the best shape of his life. He said, I'm gonna direct the movie and star in it like a G. Then it comes out and it's breaking records. Self-improvement is undefeated. This is what I be telling you guys. If you really wanna succeed, I really recommend you make a list of everybody who's done you wrong, everything they did bad to you. Look at that list every morning. That's how I start my day with anger. <laughs> that fury and that rage is the fuel I need to attack my goals every day. How can I relax when there's a whole list of motherfuckers who I could actually punish with my success. This ain't the 90s, you can't shoot people anymore. You can't even fuck people up. They start suing you and shit. So the only viable option is self-improvement because the haters want you to fail. Let me tell you why she dumped him. The real reason, every human, every decision they make is because they believed that it was in their best interest. People are always gonna make a decision that's in their best interest. So she believed that her best course of action was to leave him. Maybe she thought he fell off or she could do better. How you gonna do better than a nigga who just broke a movie record? Feel sorry and directing it. That's how you gotta do this shit. You gotta let them know that they made the wrong decision. You gotta have them motherfuckers regretting that shit. I look back at my list of hate and I, there's no way I can imagine that these people look back at their actions and think, man, that was the best thing I could have did for my future, was crossing Brandon and pissing him off or fucking with him or shitting on him. No, that was the best thing I could have did for my advancement in life. There's no way they can think that because they had they aligned with me, we'd be out balling and shit. Let's just say, I appreciate them doing that shit because sometimes I need that fuel. Sometimes you need that little, some little extra. Now some fucking dickhead is gonna type, oh, you should do it for yourself, not to prove other people wrong. Shut up, dork. Do it for myself too. But I'm talking about getting that extra fuel. I'm talking about pushing it to the next level. Here's the thing, humans, it's been proven. Many studies. The most famous one was done by Daniel Kahneman. People will always do more to avoid loss and avoid pain than they will to actually get something. So I think about how happy the haters would be if they saw saw me fall off, if they saw me get fat, if they saw me go broke, if they saw that I wasn't doing better each and every year the way I had. And that shit is terrifying. And that would be a, a L for me. And people will always do more to avoid loss than they will to achieve something. 100% of the time, always, I don't care what you fucking say. There's studies that show this. So we take the bad thing that happened to us, the heartbreak, the pain, the agony. We use it as fuel to accomplish our goals. There's nothing bad about that. In fact, we took a negative emotion and used it for good. You're using the negativity and transmuting it into a positive outcome. I'm telling you, man, you can't destroy energy. You can only transmute it. This is the most powerful way. If you're struggling in life, some motivation. How do I get motivation? List of hate. How do I stop procrastinating? List of hate. How do I stay focused? List of hate. How you gonna sit around jacking off and playing video games if you got a list of people who are happy about you doing that? The, the bitch that dumped you and cheated on you. Nothing would make her happier than if she looked at your Instagram and you fat now. <laughs> she was like, whew, I made the wrong decision. As soon as I left him, he got all fat. Ugh. But what happens when she sees you in the best shape of your life, looking like Brandon Carter and shit. I mean, okay, let's set attainable goals. Looking like a small version of Brandon Carter. She was like, fuck, I made a mistake. When she sees you out here accomplishing shit out in the open, she gonna feel like shit and that's what we want. That should excite you. And you gotta understand, if they hated on you and you don't accomplish your goal, they wasn't hating, they was right. If they said you couldn't do it and you don't do it, 
That's not hate. That was an accurate assessment of your situation. They should be applauded. But the onus is on you. Are you proving them right? Or are you proving them wrong? Shout out to my man, Michael B. Jordan. For proving the haters wrong, making a solid film. That shit had me wanting to go work out when the motherfucker was pulling the fucking plane. There was a part he was pulling a plane when he was training. I was like, shit, I need to go. I'm about to go lift some weights right now. <laughs>